Hey guys, John Faulkner here with Survival Dispatch, and I finally get around to show you guys my favorite items of 2019. I know you guys have seen the other videos from Charlie and Chris and Nikki, but now it's my time. My time to spread out my favorite gear that I've used over the last year and fallen in love with and share it with you guys. Uh, whatever we have, we'll definitely put links in the bottom, so if you guys are interested in purchasing this stuff, you can click those links also. So we'll start with the biggest thing on the, on the table here, and that's the Vertex. Uh, gamut checkpoint 2.0 this was a big daddy unlimited exclusive in the black multicam uh, this bag is just I love it. I had help in, in designing and picking out the color and everything uh, through Big Daddy Unlimited. And um, I love the fact that it's a perfect size. If you're wanting a, a nice urban size, you know, get home bag, bug out bag, this is a fantastic size. Uh, fits nice Nalgene water bottles, be able to put body armor in it, has a bunch of cool features to it. Um, if you're wanting to make like a bag gun, you know, keep a rifle or a pistol, uh, AR pistol style in it, you know, it'll fit like a 10 and a half inch AR with like a law tactical full Older, um, or it'll fit like a Maxim Defense PDX, like five and a half inch with no brace, uh, it slides right down and it fits perfect. And that's really what I've utilized it for uh, lately because it has a bunch of cool features. So make sure you check that out. So, you know, this has just become one of those bags. Uh, I, don't, I don't use it that often as like an EDC bag, but as far as an auxiliary bag goes, uh, it makes a fantastic option with the Molly panel and stuff that you can peel off the front here and have Molly um, in the compartment very easy to organize stuff in and it really is probably my favorite vertex bag and one of the my favorite bags on the market period uh, the vertex gamut checkpoint 2.0 and this is in the BDU exclusive black multicam so that's that's the first one because you got to carry all this gear so I started with a bag okay um, the second one I'm just gonna kind of go down the line here is the Katadyne B free water filter uh, I started using this probably 2018 and uh everything that we did outside in the woods, classes, everything like that. Uh, you never saw me outside without a Cowdenine Be Free. Uh, it's what I've switched to exclusively. Um, I probably have five or six of these things at this point. This one's getting getting some wear on it. Uh, it's starting to discolor uh, the plat, but the bag is just, I have yet to rip a bag, punch a hole, punch a hole in the bag. They're super tough, super durable. Um, I love the fact that since it's a softer plastic, it's easier to scoop water also. And uh, one of the best features is it has a wider mouth than like a regular water bottle. So it's easier to gather water also. Uh, and then in the filter, what's really, what I think really sets this apart from like a Sawyer is the fact that the filter goes all the way around 360 degrees. Instead of like an inlet hole in a Sawyer that can get clogged just because all, all the water you're trying to filter is going through a little hole. This goes all the way around 360 degrees um, which number one, it makes it a lot uh, faster flow rate, which is great when you're filtering a lot of water, especially if you have more than one person. The flow rate is much higher on a Catadyne Be Free than it is on any of the Sawyers. Uh, second, as far as cleaning it, you're able to just leave a little bit of the water in the bag, uh, screw the lid back down, slosh it up, get it around, and because it's open all the way around, it, it, I feel like it gets rid of debris easier and then you can just dump it out of the bottle and keep that filter going much, much longer. So the Catadyne Be Free, uh, for the price point and everything uses regular like uh, water bottle caps on the top so if you ever break a lid or anything you can literally take the cap off of any water bottle it fits in there um, and it is just my go-to water filter I love it and I never leave home without it I even have one in my EDC bag so Catadyne B free water filter uh, next on the list is the Exotac fire sleeve you know this is it's kind of hard to beat a Bic lighter come on like you should go to a, a lighter for your first line of starting a fire. Um, but adding the Exotac fire sleeve to it, and it's just a rubber neoprene sleeve with a hard plastic cap. Uh, number one, uh, it, it makes your Bic lighter float. So if you were to drop it in a water stream, anything like that, it would float, easy to grab. Uh, number two, it gives you a couple lanyard attachments at the, uh, at the top of the cap and at the bottom. So if you wanted to lanyard it up, dummy cord it, however, so you make sure you, you never lost your source of fire because fire is extremely important, um, you know, make sure that happened. Number three, with the lid on it, there's no way that you can press the button and release all the gas. So you, you see it all the time, the button gets pressed down and yeah, we put zip ties and stuff under it. Um, but you know, at any point that could, the, the 
pedal could get pushed down, all the gas leaks out, and then you got a lighter that's pretty much a spark wheel. Um, so, you know, that really makes sure that you keep all the fuel in it you can. And then the last but not least is uh, the fire sleeve is actually split at the top. So you can pull this top part over and keep the flame going without having to keep your thumb on it where it gets really, really hot. Uh, you can just pry this up, slip it over the pedal, and keep that fire going if you had to have a fire for, you know, 10 or so seconds. So, you know, Exotac makes fantastic products. You guys know them for their awesome machined aluminum, you know, nano spark and ferro rods, but the fire sleeve is extremely affordable um, and it just makes a Bic lighter that much better. So I always make sure that my Bic lighters have a fire sleeve on them. Uh, and then moving down the list, communication. Communication is extremely important. Uh, as much as we travel, as much as we're out in the woods, you know, cell phone service is always irreli you know, we just can't rely on it. Um, and I always want to make sure that I'm in contact with my wife uh, and family and friends back at home. So for the last year or so, uh, literally every single month, I have used the Garmin InReach Mini. I love this thing. And what this allows you to do is have satellite communication through your cell phone, it just Bluetooths, uh, to the Garmin inReach, and then it turns that into a satellite signal, which you can text anybody pretty much in the world. Um, and it's it's super cool, super easy to use. Um, you can use it as a standalone unit and send out predefined replies. I just tether it to my cell phone because I usually have my phone with me also um, for other reasons. You know, this also allows you to have pretty much a full Garmin unit on your phone. And I just think a touchscreen on an iPhone is 10,000 times better than any Garmin unit out there. Um, the battery life works fantastic. As long as you can see the bright big blue sky, you can get a signal out with this thing. Uh, and it's just that reassurance of knowing that I can let my family, my wife know that we're okay, we're in the woods. Cause there's times where, you know, we're in the woods for quite a few days um, and, you know, letting her know that, that we're okay, we got there. Um, but there's also, you know, times in a survival situation where, uh, cell phone towers might be down you know we saw that in like panama city when hurricane michael went through there uh, they went weeks and weeks with no cell phone service just due to the fact that the power lines had all been taken down and all the cell phone towers had been taken down so being able to have a garment in reach at that point you would have been able to get cell uh text messages in and out and um you know and it just makes it really convenient and you can literally once you have this paired to your phone uh, go in, it, you can click on a contact and start texting and send send text. So the Garmin InReach Mini, it has a monthly subscription to it. It's about 20 bucks, depending on what plans you want. Uh, but I think it's worth every single penny. Um, I have two of these actually. So one goes with me, one stays at home in case something were to happen at home while I was gone. Uh, my wife can also you know, hook hers up to her phone and we would have satellite communication at that point. Um, also built into this, it has an SOS feature that can uh, alert emergency response if you were ever injured in the woods where you know you needed help, anything like that. So tons of features fact, packed into this really, really small unit. Um, I clip it on my shoulder pack um, or my shoulder straps. Um, that's why I have this S beaner on it. And it just, you know, it allows me to make sure I'm always in communication uh, with whoever I need to be. So the Garmin InReach Mini, I can't say much more good things about it. I love it and uh, I have multiples of them. Speaking of something that I have multiples of, uh, my headlamp of choice, hands down, uh, there is no competitor right now, is the Nightcore NU25. Uh, we did a full review on this. You can watch that video also. I think we've done a review on pretty much everything here, but um, this thing has a, a regular LED white light. It also has a real, um, distorted white light that's really, really good for up close, like map reading, things like that. Also has a red light on it. It's rechargeable. I go ahead and I just put a real lightweight shock cord on it um, just to kind of make it real easy to, to wrap up. I can put this in my pocket or wherever. Um, and I, I started using the Nightcore NU25s um, probably six, eight months ago, if not a little bit more than that. And I, I haven't switched away from them. I love the fact they're so lightweight, rechargeable batteries charge really fast. They last a long time. Uh, the LED, the bigger LED is super bright. You can definitely hike and do chores and stuff at night. Um, and then the two other LEDs are fantastic for up close, around the fire, trying to get things done. Uh, task lights, I would say. So the NU25, hands down, cannot be beat as far as a headlamp at this time. Uh, and then 
staying in the, the realm of, of lights, uh, flashlights for the last two years probably since the original Stiletto, uh, Surefire Stiletto flashlight came out. Um, I started carrying it. I love the form factor. I love the fact that it wasn't round. Uh, it fits in your front pocket a whole lot better. And in 2019, Surefire released the Stiletto Pro, which uh, they got rid of the plastic body, added an aluminum body. It's a little bit brighter. Um, it is a little bit bigger. You can also, one of the big features that they added was the ability to reverse the pocket clip. So you can run it tip down or tip up however you want to. Um, um, the function of this thing is, is fantastic. I think it's probably one of the best EDC lights on the market. Um, the Pro is a little bit more expensive. I wish it was a little bit cheaper. Um, the Stiletto, the original one, I think is at a phenomenal price point, around 100 bucks or so. This one's about $60 more. Um, does have a couple more features. I don't know if it really... Uh, equals out to the additional cost. I still love the stiletto. I still carry it from time to time. Today I had the Pro in my pocket. It's USB rechargeable, so you can just kind of throw it on your nightstand, stick a micro USB in it, keep it charged all the time. Uh, extremely bright light uh, for the max output, um, but also has low modes too, so you know you can get really good run time on it. And for the last year or so, pretty much every single day I've had a stiletto, uh, Surefire Stiletto or Stiletto Pro in my front pocket. I love it. I go nowhere without it. So that's kind of the lighting feature. Um, and then let's talk about knives. We all love knives. Uh, the, the Benchmade bug out. Uh, some of you guys, you know, might not be huge Benchmade fans, uh, but the bug out knife is, I think, a home run. Um, it's an extremely lightweight knife. No metal liners or anything in it, just a, a, a really hard plastic handle. Uh, it has their access lock in it, which I think is one of the best locks on the market. We did a review on this thing a while ago. I've batoned pieces of wood larger than the blade on this thing. We beat the mess out of it. It sharpens right back up, has fantastic steel on the blade with an S30V steel, um, holds an edge really, really well. It's extremely lightweight, guys. If you're, if you're looking for you know, just something to put into uh, a small you know, ready bag, get home bag, anything like that, um, the, the Benchmade uh, bug, out bag, or bug out knife is, is a fantastic option. Uh, you, can, you can reverse the clips for right hand or left hand um, and it just has every single feature that I look for in a knife. It's a, and it's extremely lightweight, so you kind of forget it's even in your pocket at times. And uh, you know, it's it's served me well. I've I've beat the mess out of it and sharpened it up, and it's good to go again. So Benchmade Bug Out has been a fantastic knife. Uh, and then if you're a friend of the channel, if you follow the channel, uh, you know us around here. We like to eat, so no gear review would be complete unless I added food. And you might say food's not gear. Yeah, but I use gear to cook it, so I'm making an exception. Uh, and one of the new brands that I really fell in love with in 2019 was Packet Gourmet. Um, you mountain house, you know, wise food guys, uh, Packet Gourmet has so much better flavor. Um, they make fantastic meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and their desserts are even amazing. The banana pudding is just out of this world, like real banana pudding, um, but they have great breakfasts, um, and it's a smaller, you know, family-run business, uh, but they make really, really good quality food. I think they package it in very uh, appropriate sizes, no more of those big, huge, you you know, bags that you need, you know, a four foot spoon to get down into. They cut the bag size down with, you know, keeping the calories and good food in it. So check out Packet Gourmet if you're looking for food to put into, you know, a bug out bag um, or just your hiking backpack going out on a, on a weekend or something. Man, pack some Packet Gourmet and actually have good food when you're on the trail. It makes the trip 10 times better. So that's the rundown of, of my favorite gear of 2019. If you got any questions or comments with regards to this gear, feel free to leave them below. We'll definitely be around for the next couple of days. Also, make sure you hit that like button if you wanna see more videos like this, it lets us know. And hit that notification button just so you know every time Survival Dispatch drops a video on YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys had a fantastic 2019. We can't wait to see you guys around for 2020. And until next time, be safe.